Absolutely. Kelly Lee Ripper, ladies and gentlemen. Forgive me, I don't, I don't mean to uh, pry, but you look and somebody's told me that you may have a little neck problem. I'm a is that stiff, true? Yeah. yeah. What, is the, what is the disorder? You can't take this lightly, by the way. I, I know I'm not. I hurt my neck mm, like two years ago, mm. and it keeps flaring how, how up. Are you, how did you injure yourself? Uh, on the set of Hope and Faith, where I play either Hope or Faith. I see. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> and I was doing something in the sitcom. I just tweaked my neck a little bit, and uh -huh. it's been sort of, you know, with the kids jumping yep. on you, and they want you to pick them up and, you know, bathe them and whatever. <laughs> and Unreasonable, so, aren't they? You know. And so I keep re-injuring it, yep. but now I'm, like, going to this chiropractor who is incredibly good, Dr. Siegel, and he's like, you know, what your problem is, uh, you have <laughs> defeatist posture. He told me that I I've have never heard of that. the posture, posture of somebody who's, like, defeated, like my... I have bad posture, like I'm slumped over and I keep my chin to my chest and I'm like, do you know where I work? Uh -huh. Do you know who I work with? Right. To be defeated is my job. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't. I'm the, defe I'm, I'm the defeated one. Uh, Happiness is a sign of a weakness at life. <laughs> now, I'm, I'm curious about this now because I myself had a neck problem since 1984, and, and, I, and I can tell you that they rarely get better. What, can, what have they done for you? Anything? No, nothing. Oh, they've done everything for me, but nothing seems to work. Because people are like, you know, you should try my Chinese herbalist, mm -hmm. you should try my, um, my Qi Gong master, mm. you should try acupuncture. And I'm like, don't they just give... Um, celebrities or quasi-celebrities Vicodin whenever they want it on demand? Right. You'd think that, that should be the way it goes. I, I think keep, we got to... I, everyone, I'm asking anyone, mm -hmm. do you have those pills that they don't give to people except for when you really, really need so, them? So you're in, you're in pain is what you're in? I mean, it's really awful. Oh, it's so that not sounds good. like nerve problems. So like you a think pinch, it's a nerve Might problem. be a pinched nerve or something, yeah. A pinched nerve? Might be a pinched nerve, yeah. Well, then what do they do? Well, nothing can be done for Nothing them. can be done. <laughs> Uh, but you, because I'll, I'll tell you, here's the problem. Everything, you know, the, in your brain, everything connected to your brain goes right up through your neck. That's where all of the wiring goes. And then, and then a lot of, you got a lot of blood and a lot of nerves back there, and if you get those monkeyed up... That's <laughs> well, I, I'm not telling tales out of school, but I, I'm only cautioning you to be, be very... And stress, right. by God, you must be under the worst stress uh, in the world working with that idiot. <laughs> He always tries to get me to say something incriminating, but my, I'm not that pinched. <laughs> he's my big oh, man. He's my big daddy. How is, to, to give us a, how is Regis, by the way? How's he doing? And for the love of God, you know, we had uh, Ellen DeGeneres on the show last week. Be a beautiful woman, a, a tremendous uh, funny, and, and she was yeah. talking about the daytime Emmys, and, yeah. and I said, well, who else is in the category? Yeah. And she said that uh, Oprah one year got up and announced that because I always win, I'm taking myself out of the competition. She did. It was the most amazing moment. I was there. I actually witnessed it. She said, um, she said, I am here tonight to present the category of outstanding talk show host, which I myself have uh, declined to be included because I've won the award, you know, right. uh -huh. 25 years yeah, in a row. Give it up, Oprah. Give it and up. And I'd like for everyone to have an opportunity to win this award with the mm -hmm. exception of Regis Lee and Kelly Lee or Kathy Lee yeah. or any Lee. Yeah. <laughs> but my, my point was that if, if anybody deserves that award, with or without Oprah, it should be you guys. Yeah, we're not going to win it. It's not going to happen. Really? Have you ever won it? No, Regis won Regis it. Regis won it. Okay. <laughs> Here's where, see, he blames me. And before me, he blamed Kathy Lee. And I think he's right. He's only won it once, and it was that six months that he worked by himself. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Well, it's true. Uh, but I believe, but I believe they sort of, I think they gave him that one to try to get him out of the category also. Oh. I think that's what, because he's been, you know, listen, 
He's been in television for 40 years. That's right. All of the losses can't be my fault or Kathy Lee's fault. No, but I, I see, here's the thing. I, I often wonder, uh, do people understand what it is you guys do every day? I am not sure I understand. Yeah. Well, you, you, <laughs> Tell me. You, well, you, you start the day. I mean, you're how right. people begin their day. I mean, that's an enormous responsibility because by the time people get around to us, they're all drunk or sedated or... Right. You know. <laughs> So it makes right. no real difference, but you guys, are, yeah. you know, so, so we and, have a and, responsibility. Right, and you, you come out there uh, with yeah. nothing. You nothing. come out with nothing. There's none. There's none of this. Nothing. You see Paul and the band. There's Zero. none of that. Zip. Nothing. And and from that you create this uh, wonderful, uh, all-encompassing feeling of goodwill and happiness and interest, and 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 then it goes from there. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Every day they do that. Well, Every you, single you, day. you really deserve awards. Huh? We're never going to get one. We've, we've made our, our, our own award show now. We have the Rally Awards. It's the Regis Rush, and the Kelly. We well, couldn't that's think pathetic. of anything no, better. That's, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't do that. You win. You win. I'm not kidding. Our award is called the Golden Stool. <laughs> <laughs> and it, that's regrettable. Comes in, it's, comes in its own little plastic <laughs> yeah, I'm baggie. Sure it does. All right. Uh, we'll be right back here with Kelly Ripa. <laughs> yeah, you're going to watch that next. Look at how beautiful. Look at that lovely dress, a beautiful turquoise or aquamarine yeah. or whatever that is, and the sparkling blonde hair, lovely teeth. It's a nice image. It's. <laughs> Uh, it's all makeup. It's, it's, uh, it's all happening. Now, listen, uh, dog, let me ask you another yeah. question. Uh, what's the deal on this uh, Jeff uh, Probst? Is there anything to this? Uh, be honest with me about that. What because, do you mean? Uh, well, I keep reading that, uh, oh, oh, he, he's gonna he, replace he, like, he thinks he's Regis. He thinks he's going to be the next Regis. He wants to be in that, and, like, he can do it. And stuff. Well, I think they they use him a lot as a co-host because he's you know he's a good host. He has hosting experience. Right. And, oh yeah, and hosting experience. He's a friend of Gelman's. Yeah. So they always, oh, they're they're friends. They're friends. Oh, well, you see, know. That, that's the worst. Um, but you know, I don't think that the show well, is, he, is he any good when he's, he's on the great. show. He's great. Yeah, is he's it? great. But I don't think you, there's any replacement for Regis. No, absolutely not. When when Regis decides to retire. That's it. Um. Um. <laughs> um they should just take the show away. You don't need that show. You got your other show, the Faith, the Faith and Hope show. You don't yeah, need that. Yeah, you know. Or they should send it away because I it's... just feel like he's so good, and I never really realized, you know, why it was he was paid, you know, five hundred million dollars a year mm -hmm. until he's not there, That's and right. then you know, and then suddenly I'm doing his work. I'm working hard. Right. And I never thought of the talk Not show easy, as, as hard work. I thought that, you know, I was just supposed to sit there and, like, dust him off a little mm -hmm. bit and, you know, throw my head back and laugh at his jokes. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, now suddenly I'm taking time cues. I'm trying to read off a cue card that I can't see. Right. It's very difficult. He's got a hard job. But he, I mean, uh, it's obvious to everyone that he's slowing down, right? <laughs> I know. I just, I he's like, as sharp yeah. as a tack, that he's man. True. He's the best. I love him. I, now, we have I some videotape. You, yes. you, you tell me what this tape is. Let's I'll look at this videotape, and you explain this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Holy cow. Oh, man. Whoa. Wow. What was that exactly? I don't know. I just get hot reliving it all over again. <laughs> What, are you trying to kill him? We, <laughs> they were making fun of me because on, <laughs> on, the, on the sitcom, Paul knows, Paul worked there, I have to make out with everybody. Really? And so I That's once your, your show, character? My character makes out with anyone that walks through the door mm -hmm. and has lips. And, um, and Regis was saying that I, you know, not only did I make out with everyone on that show, I made out with everyone at live, too. So that was a part of... Uh, a tape of me making out with everyone. Mm -hmm. Art Moore, Ooh. Gelman, oh. Regis. Oh my God. I, I earned oh, my money that oh, day. I guess so. There's like a <laughs> little old lady in the third row. Oh made out with my her. God almighty. Yeah. Well, that's kind of cute though. Yeah, it was kind of cute. He was, you know, he was a good kisser. Regis? There, I said it, yeah. Yeah, well, you don't get to be where he is in this world without being able to kiss. 
know. I don't know what that means. Oh. What does that mean? Don't act like it. You know. You know. <laughs> you know you kissed him too. Huh? Oh. Wait a minute. Um, now, uh, you did, you did the show, was it last week you did it in Florida or this week you yeah, did we it? Yeah, we were in California, California. and then we went to Florida. Disneyland, then wow. Disney World. Wow. Yeah. Now, is, is that, uh, that must be hard work when you're on the road like that, right? Is it harder or easier? I mean, it's harder for the staff. They have to work really hard. Mm -hmm. We just kind of do our normal vacation thing. Vacation. It's like you. a vacation. Yeah, you know, yeah. take the kids around. But How are the kids, by the way? Doing well? They're good. You have three I, children? I have three kids. You know, I have two boys and a girl. Mm -hmm. And, see, you have... Harry, who is beautiful and lovely. Thank you very how is much. He? He's wonderful. Okay. A year you, and a half. You have to give him a sister. Well, how would... <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you have to. Uh. You seem like all your parts are still working. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I know. <laughs> I'm just saying in the talk show circuit, That's people right. talk. <laughs> well, people are saying that my parts are working. They say yeah. that's what the that's word on good. the street that's is. Good. Yeah, I mean, uh, sure, it would, you know, it might be, uh, maybe in another 10 years. You know, you have to. <laughs> you have to. <laughs> girls are so, girls are smart. Oh, girls are, and, girls and it's are completely wily. different, isn't it? Yes. I mean, my son is seven years old, and... And I was, <clears throat> this was over the summer in the Hamptons, I was helping him put on his flip-flops. There's no laces, there's no Velcro, but he still was confused by the flip-flops. Mm -hmm. <laughs> While I turned my back on my daughter to help my seven-year-old put on his flip-flops, my three-year-old daughter gets into the car, locks the door, takes my keys out of my purse, and starts the car. Oh and starts God. the car because she watched me do it once. She uh -huh. worked it all out. <laughs> She's like a like a velociraptor. She checks the fence for weaknesses. But, but the kid can't put on his flip flops. Can't put on his flip flops. Can't do it. Oh because my God. Uh, well, I'm, I'm glad things are uh, good uh, for you, and it sounds like it's all uh, a lot of entertainment and fun at the house, and everything's is. wonderful. Hey, you know we're doing our cruise now. We're gonna take the. We're doing a cruise, the live cruise. I'd like to inv invite you and the whole group to come. Bring Paul. Bring everybody. You know, you have to. I would just want a, another word of caution. Uh, those cruises are very popular. Yeah. But a high percentage of the cruises that go out, the the, uh, the guests, the people, the passengers, a very high percentage of them come down with dysentery. <laughs> I'm going to be locked in my room yeah. the whole time. Well, you might get it anyway. Just no, just you got to come. A you word to the wise. Come no, on the cruise. Yeah, come I'm on. It'll be fun. I'm, I'm not coming. We're giving it. Listen to this. This is right up your alley, because I know you're a man of the people. You are a man of the people. <laughs> He's a man of the He's people. He's a man of the people. Yeah. He's a man of the people. Yeah. We're giving away a cruise mm -hmm. of 2,000 guests. They're all contest winners, all fans <laughs> of the show. Wow. Doesn't that sound like fun yeah, for you? it does. Sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> Come on. Where, uh, where do you go? Just up and down the Hudson? <laughs> uh, how'd you guess? <laughs> uh, it's On the our show's budget? <laughs> it's the lovely Kelly Ripa, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck with that neck. Thank you very much. Take care. We'll be right back with Alexis Liddell.